How's it going all up, Welcome back to another video. Today I'll be showing you guys how to use Tiny Task. This is going to be a complete guide for you guys. Every single thing you need to know about Tiny Task. I guarantee you by the end of this video, you're going to know exactly what every single thing does in Tiny Task. So guys, let's go ahead and get straight into this video. If you guys want to download Tiny Task, I'm going to have that in the description down below. So go ahead and get it from the link in the description down below. There's a lot of fake sites, so make sure you use the link in the description. That is the real site, which I believe is tinytask.net anyways after you guys have downloaded it and then opened it it is gonna look something like this so go ahead and open it and it's gonna look something like this now guys as you guys can see we have a bunch of things right here we have a open thing this basically means you can actually save your macros and then open them back up later and of course we have a save button to save your macros i'll show you guys how to do that in a minute then we have the record button play button and then dot exe button once again i'm going to show you guys everything what everything does and then guys we have preferences we're going to start off with all of the preferences so starting off guys we have a play speed as you guys can see this basically means if i record a macro and i want it to play back obviously how uh, how fast that macro is going to play so times one or times one speed basically means it's it's playing at normal speed half is going to be half the speed times two is like double the speed and then there's a hundred times um which again plays the recording at a hundred times what you recorded it at so if i record me just moving around like this it's gonna play it a hundred times so yeah that is what that basically does after that guys we have a set custom speed you can go ahead and you know type in 99 or 88 whatever you want right here once again does the same thing and then guys we have continuous playback this basically means if you're trying to um afk overnight and you want your um any task that you recorded to play overnight over and over again guys you want to go ahead and turn that on and when you turn it on as you guys can see there's going to be a little check next to it see so yeah, guys if you want something to play over and over again you can go ahead and turn it on but let's say you only want something to play 10 times then you can actually go right here and click on set playback loops and set this to 10 and now if you guys record a macro it's only going to play 10 times and then after the 10 times are over it's going to stop playing that macro then guys we have the most important thing which is going to be the recording hotkey now you want to go ahead and set your recording hotkey so basically set it to something that you're not using for example f8 that's going to be the best honestly or Control shift alt r this is going to be the best one because there is nothing that uses Control shift alt r so if you go back to the game i press Control shift alt r as you guys can see it is now recording the game right here and it's recording all of my movements so yeah that's a pretty useful thing and then we can obviously go ahead click this button once again to stop the recording after that guys we have playback hotkey this basically plays back whatever you recorded so for example if i go ahead and pre pre press f8 on my keyboard right now there you go it's actually playing this i'm actually not touching my keyboard at all this is playing everything that was played before and obviously if i want to stop it once again i'm going to go ahead and press f8 now if f8 for some reason is not working for you guys you will have to press fn f8 so there's going to be a fn key next to the space bar somewhere find that press that and then guys go ahead and press f8 while you are holding the fn key so yeah guys that's everything you need to know about playback and recording pretty simple you can record something play it back then guys after that we have always on top what this does is it keeps this window this little tiny task window always on top of your screen so even if i select roblox as you guys can see it stays on top if i turn it off look at that it's gone now i have to go uh, select it once again whatnot so yeah leave this on in my opinion it's helpful it lets you see what's happening and whatnot so definitely keep that on now guys let's go ahead and move on to the actual recording part so guys we have a record button we have a play button and we have a bunch of other buttons let's start with recording so again to record a um, task guys go ahead and press Control shift alt r on your keyboard and look at that it's now recording a um uh, macro for me so i can go ahead move my mouse around i can press uh, whatever keys i want on my keyboard now keep in mind guys do not record anything while you are in first person because this just breaks everything first person and um shift lock mode guys just don't use them because it does break things a lot just try and use things when you are in third person like i am right now this is the best way to do it and guys to stop recording obviously go ahead and click this once again it's going to turn blue and look at that the recording has now stopped now to play the recording press fn f8 on your keyboard or just f8 you gotta try it most computers use fn f8 so just go ahead and experiment a little bit so i'm going to press fn f8 and look at that guys 
it's now rec uh, playing back my macro that I recorded. As you guys saw, guys, when I was in first person, it didn't record any of those macros. These are the macros I recorded when I was in third person. So yeah, again, do not use this in third person, guys. It's not gonna work. Don't use this in first person like this, guys. It's not gonna work or with shift lock just don't use it it's not gonna work properly now after this guys we have the save button what this does is basically lets you save your macros so as you guys can see i can go ahead and save my macro to whatever i want so yeah just go ahead and hit save on your keyboard there you go once that's saved now to load that back up let's say you want to like record multiple um macros or whatever, whatever guys now you can go ahead save that macro record on the macro stop that and let's say you want to open up the macro that we recorded before you're going to go to open go back to where you saved it click on it click open and now that's going to reopen the macro the first macro that i recorded so yeah if you guys want to save a macro like multiple macros that's how you can do it and if you guys want to share your macros with other people you can also do that but i don't recommend using someone else's macro guys because they could do something malicious like um i don't know like sharing your passwords or something i just don't do it right use your own macros record your own macros don't use other people's macros because you never know what they put in them anyways after that guys we have the exe file so if you guys go ahead and click on that what this basically does is guys it's going to create an exe file look at this so what this does is if i go over to my downloads folder so guys if i go over to my downloads folder as you guys can see there's now an exe file so this is the file we saved before and this is the exe file Basically, what I can do is I can double click on this, even if my tiny task gets closed and it's automatically going to open my um, it's automatically going to open my tiny my uh, macro that I recorded. As you guys can see, it's just automatically playing it. Now this, I don't know if you want to do this because it's just automatically going to play your macro. And as you guys can see, it's just bugging my game out. So I'm going to stop that by pressing F8. But yeah, that's how you guys can go ahead and make this macro. Right guys, let's say your tiny task is for some reason not starting up or it's not opening up properly. Um, well, you can actually fix this by just running it as an administrator. So here is my tiny task file right over here. So if you guys want to somehow fix this for some reason, it's not working properly. First things first, in the same folder, there should be a file called tiny task 177 dot whatever, whatever. Um, that's going to be your backup file. Try deleting that. Maybe that might fix something. But uh, most of the time, what you want to do is right click on this then go ahead and run it as an administrator and see if that works so as you guys can see you're gonna have to give it admin powers um, but be careful guys only download tiny task from the official website that i've linked in the description don't download tiny task from random websites there might be a that there might be a malware in them that could um, affect your computer so yeah make sure you download it from the link in the description that's going to be the official tiny task website anyways that's how it is supposed to be fixed and yeah, if running it as admin does fix it, guys, um, go back, go right click on it and then go ahead and go to properties, compatibility, and then run this program as administrator, click apply and OK. Now, what happens is every single time you open the program, it's going to run as admin. As you guys can see, so every time I open it, it's going to be administrator. I think that's pretty much everything we have for this. Um, I've tried not making this video too long but uh, it is still like at least eight minutes long. So sorry about that, guys. But thanks so much for watching. That's everything I have for you guys. Hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, drop a like and subscribe. Peace out.